Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I didn't point to a specific person, sorry. I was just pointing out to the crowd. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> a week ago, I was diagnosed with dyslexia. And that is a true story. I have the paperwork. <laughs> and that really made me think English doesn't make sense. And it could be me, but it could also be English. So I don't know if I'm the problem. And quick dis disclaimer, I had this thought two years ago. March 1st, 2021. <laughs> the space bar isn't working. We have two words, fridge and freezer. Now you may be thinking, what the H-E double hockey sticks is wrong with the words fridge and freezer? Reason number one, fridge, real English word. Freezer, real English word. But do you know what is not a real English word? Freeze and fridger. How can we have a fridge but not a freeze and a freezer but not a fridger. Explain that one to me. For example, I store my milk in the fridger. That would make perfect sense. Or, I store my ice cream in the freeze. Makes perfect sense. Reason number two, refrigerator. This is a real word that we've all grown to accept. Now let's think about its freezer counterpart. I'll wait. Exactly. There is no counterpart for refrigerator. So I propose refrigerator. <laughs> Fridge, freeze, freezer, fridger, refrigerator, refrigerator. Does that not make sense? <laughs> Reason three, verbs. I can freeze something, but I can't fridge something. I can only put something in the fridge or the refrigerator. Does that make sense to you? So I propose once again that I should be allowed to fridge my celery and refreeze my ice cubes. So to conclude, fridge, freeze. Freezer, fridger. If I have a refrigerator, I can have a refrigerator. And if I can freeze something, I can fridge it. And if I can refrigerate something, I shall be able to refreeze it. So please do your part and help me make English make sense. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate you listening to me.